Now, the funny thing is, is that many people get such love from HaKadosh Baruch Hu that even if they're sinning, HaKadosh Baruch Hu shows them love by ruining their life. Now, I had a guy come to me one time and he said, listen, I like your shulim, but you spoke against my rabbi. I said, Who, who's your rabbi? He says, Drol. Drol Kasuto. I said, oh, misken. He said, what do you mean misken? Oh, I said, I said he's, the guy's a heretic. What do you want me to tell you? I said, misken. No, no, no. Can you like not talk about him? No, no. Uh, if, if there's something I have to say, I have to say it. It's... So he's like, oh, I'm going to continue listening to shulim little by little. He uh, was listening to Shuim, but one day, I guess I said something against Dro again, and he got upset, he stopped listening. A year later, he comes back. Almost a year, 11 months later, something like that, comes back. He said, Rabbi, you were right. I said, well, uh, I don't know what I said, but, Baruch Hashem, thank you for, I was right. What, what was I right about? He goes, you ruined my life. I said, what, Dro ruined your life? How did you know? He said, he told me to marry this girl even though she wasn't religious, because she said she'll become religious. So I married her, and then he told me to divorce her, and then he told me to marry her, and then he told me that we could violate Shabbat together. Pretty much everything he said on the, on the, on the, on the uh, thing that you warned us about, he did everything. He told me, yeah, the girl's not ready to be religious, so why don't you violate Shabbat with her together? Take her to the beach. She doesn't want to be modest? No, no, come on, you don't... Well, you met her that way, it's not our fault. All types of things, before you know it, my life was in shambles. I'm divorced now. Now I thought, okay, this happens to me one time story, this, that, a month and a half ago. Young lady comes to me, tells me that her marriage is in shambles. Her marriage is in shambles. Why? Her husband doesn't want to come home. She doesn't want to come home. Why not? Why does he want to come home? He says, I don't know, he's just, uh, he's just hanging out with his friends all the time, smoking pot, doing all types of things, watching sports, and he says he's bored to see me at home. So he just wants to hang out with his friends, and he'll come back in a week or two or three or four. So he, I said, is he, ever, is he religious? He goes, well, kind of, I'm not really sure if you, what you call religious, but he says he is. I said, who's his rabbi? He says, uh, you ever heard of Manis? So yeah. You ever hear of Drol? Yeah, both of them are his rabbis. He has two rabbis, really religious. Shtabach Shimolad. And these stories are like a domino effect that keep happening. And as sad as I get hearing these stories, and I cry with some of these people, a little bit inside, I'm happy it's happening. Why? It shows me that HaKadosh Baruch Hu still loves these people. Because he's ruining their life. If he didn't love them, he'd let them do whatever they want and nothing goes wrong. Happily married, everything is so good, even though they're heretics against the Shem, even though they listen to the doll that says go smoke marijuana, even though they, they listen to a uh, uh, manis that says that God needs you, all types of her heretical thoughts. So, what's the problem? So what does the Kadosh Baruch Hu do? He loves them. He, what does he do? He ruins their life. The same advice they listen to ruin their life, cause the divorce, cause marriage to go into pretty much into... Uh, a cave you don't want to you, you don't want to enter, and their whole life goes into shambles. And they know it's due to the advice of these gurus. Hashem loves them. Hashem has given them another chance. Sometimes a kadosh baruch hu will take a person's money in order to make him realize that he doesn't know how to use it. Sometimes a person is going to take away something that's very precious to you because you didn't value it enough, or the right way, or you overvalued it. The point is that sometimes a Kadosh Baruch Hu will bring havoc to a person's life because he loves them. If he didn't, it means he's giving up on them. 